Hello, hello, welcome back. So Miss Lori picked um, this one. We're gonna read about light today. Last time we read about sounds, right? So today we're gonna read about light is all around us. Oh, look at this cute picture. They're in the desert. Seems really hot, huh? Ooh, fireplace. All right. Sorry. It's a brand new book, so the um the pages are really hard to turn. Light is found in many different forms in many different places. It travels from the sun and the stars. It lights up the sky, the sea, and our backyards. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the book like this so we can slow. We move it over. You can see the pictures. Oh, did I? Did my hands cover the the lighthouse? Ooh, look at that! Right there's the moonlight. Windows glow, car lights shine, signs flash on and off, bridge lights sparkle. Sometimes jagged bolts of lightning fills the sky, and brightly colored fireworks explode on the Fourth of July. During the day, light from the sun brightens our world, but the sun is 93 million miles away. How does it light? How does its light get here? Light travels to Earth in waves of electromagnetic radiation, a kind of energy that travels through space. These waves travel so fast, we can't even see them move. Oh, this is a nice picture here. Okay, so let's read the words first and then we'll talk about the picture. Cars on highways travel about one mile a minute. Passengers, uh, passenger, sorry, passenger jet planes travel eight miles a minute. Sound waves travel 13 miles a minute. Light travels over 11 million miles a minute. Nothing travels faster than light. Okay. So see, this is the car, right? One mile per minute. Eight miles per minute is the jet. 13 miles per minute is what? Uh, sound waves, okay? 11 million miles a minute is light, okay? So in one minute, light from Earth could travel back and forth to the moon 46 times. That's a fun fact. In addition to measuring how fast light is, we can also measure it to find out how bright it is. Look, Sparky, you are 32 inches long. To find out how long something is, we measure it in inches, okay? To find out how hot something is, we measure it in degrees. We measure time in minutes and weight in pounds. Uh-oh, this little boy's sick, mommy's saying, you have a fever of 102.7 degrees. And this coach is saying to this little girl, well done, you ran a mile in six minutes. And then this one is my prize pumpkin weighs 82 pounds. Light is measured in lumens. A light bulb used uh, for reading is usually 1,750 lumens. Sunlight is... 35, so many zeros. I'm going to show that to you. Lumens. Okay. Not bad, but I'm way brighter. Okay. That's 35 octillion lumens. More than all the light bulbs on Earth turned on at the same time. That's why you should never look directly at the sun. It can hurt your eyes. The sun sends the brightest light, but not all lights come from the sun. People build fires, light candles, or turn on electric lights. Some people use a, a night light in their bedroom. Sometimes flashlight, 
flashlights light the way in the dark. People in the West uh, Indies uh, uses use to poke holes in grounds, fill them with fireflies, hmm, and use them as flashlight at night. Hmm. It's dark down there, Lusty. That's very cool. Look, this is what it's called. No, this is what it looks like. Uh, just as fireflies, uh, fireflies glow in the dark, some fish glow in the water. They light up to find a mate, confuse enemies, or lure food. That's kind of cool, too. An octopus has been discovered that glows. Its blue-green light attracts tiny sea animals. The octopus's blue-green uh, blue glow is a chemical light. Like the yellow-green glow sticks children carry on Halloween. Hmm. Light is important. It lets us see. Close your eyes. Since all the light can't get into your eyes, you don't see all that's around you. Open your eyes. Light comes into your eyes and you see the world with its beautiful colors. Here's how light helps you see. When light waves hit an object, they bounce off. When they bounce off, we say they reflect. Reflect means that they change direction. You see a cat because light waves reflect off the cat to your eyes. Light waves enter your eyes through the pupil in the center of the color uh, iris. The waves pass through the lens and form a picture on the retina at the back of your eye. Nerves carry the picture to your brain, and it tells you what you see. Wow, this is a, 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 a picture of your eye. Okay, so you see there's um, there's pupil, right? Because so the so it says light waves enter your eyes through the pupil, so it enters from here. Okay, and then the waves pass through the lens and form a picture of um, to the retina right here, and then it goes to your brain. Cool. And then this is what happens. Okay, message from your eyes to your brain. All right, image formed on retina of right eye, image of form on retina of the uh, left eye. And then it goes here, and this is the visual cortex. I see your cat in the tree. Here, mittens. Day or night, light helps us watch the world and its wonders. Just look and see. All right. I hope you enjoy that. I will see you next time. Bye, kiddos.